Let's take a look at my favorite rep of the Bears 2022 preseason. Plays like this show me that offensive coordinator Luke Getze gets it, and he understands how to maximize his available talent, and most importantly, he's attempting to set quarterback Justin Fields up for success. I've linked to a previous video I did on setting Fields up for success in the description below. This play was called in the right situation from the high red zone. It was perfectly designed and flawlessly executed. The result was a 22-yard touchdown to tight end Ryan Griffin. What I liked most about this play, other than the actual execution, was how Getze helped Fields out. He gave him a clear pre-snap coverage indicator using personnel and formation. The Bears line up in 12 personnel. So that's one running back, two tight ends, and two wide receivers. This is going to be an important personnel grouping for them this year. With their identity as a run and play action based passing scheme, this grouping will, pro will provide balance and give them the ability to keep defenses guessing while playing from base personnel. That last point is a really important one as the Browns respond to this 12 personnel with their base defensive package of four down linemen, three linebackers, and four defensive backs. So they've swapped out a defensive back for a linebacker to be more stout in the event of a run, but the Bears are throwing from this grouping. Next is the formation. It's a three by one set with Mooney playing the X or split end at the top of the screen. But draw your eyes down to Cole Komet, who has defensive back Herb Miller lined up across from him and Equinemia St. Brown, who has safety DeAnthony Bell lined up across from him. If this were man defense, these two defenders would be flipped. So this is the first clue to Justin Fields that he's facing zone coverage and likely cover three given the single safety over the top. Now let's look at the play design and who the Bears are attacking. At the top, you have Mooney playing basically a decoy on this play, running a nine or a go route. You have Montgomery from the backfield running a stick route. Komet also settles over the field on the shallow crosser to the sticks but he and St. Brown cross as St. Brown runs a quick out and Griffin runs the corner route. The player gets he's attacking on this play is Herb Miller, the guy that's lined up across from Cole Komet. Komet's shallow crosser keeps Miller's eyes down and then his eyes come back up as they pick up St. Brown who's entering his zone in the flats. This puts Miller in a bind and then the free release from Griffin off the line of scrimmage allows him to get that green grass in the bottom third of the screen here, giving Fields a nice window to drop this dime into for a touchdown. Let's watch it in real time from both the sideline and end zone view. This is a perfect call for the situation. It's perfectly designed, flawlessly executed, and this is exciting stuff to see as we head into the season for the Bears offense. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, it's shameless self-promotion time. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me out. And if you want to, you can also follow me on Twitter at DJ Durkin. I provide in-game, real-time analysis for all Bears games throughout the season. Please stay healthy and well. We'll see you guys soon.